Sam, thank you. And while our nation remains painfully divided, it's an important time to honor a man who gave his life so that Americans of all different backgrounds can unite. Monday is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And looking ahead, there are several local events planned across Southern Colorado to celebrate his legacy. In fact, News 5's Renee Skinner is here with much more on how you can use that Monday off that you have coming up to participate in a day of service. That's right, guys. On August 28, 1963, thousands of demonstrators participated in the Walk on Washington, an iconic moment in the fight for civil rights. Fast forward to 2020, and marching has become one of the staple activities organizations do to celebrate Dr. King. Let's take a look at what's happening in our area. In Colorado Springs on Monday, an all-people's breakfast will start at 8 a.m. in the Reed Arena at the El Pomar Sports Center. According to the Colorado College Facebook page, sit-down tickets are sold out, but there is room for overflow. Just 10 bucks to get in. This will be followed by a march and a rally. Then we move on to Pueblo on Monday afternoon. A community peace march is happening at the Rawlings Library. It includes a program and a luncheon at the El Pueblo Museum. This is put on by the Pueblo chapter of the NAACP and other groups. Uh, the uh, march and the uh, uh, rally will start at 2.30. We've also got to mention the Marae. That's a big event. It happens every year at the state capitol. A lot of local organizations in Pueblo and in the Springs will be participating in this event, too. It's happening at the Denver City Park at the I Have a Dream Monument. The festivities kick off at 9.25. AM. A lot of activities happening there with some festivities kicking off again this weekend. And if you do have to work on Monday, well, you are in luck. There is a weekend event in our area on Saturday. The MLK Colorado Holiday Commission, along with several groups, will hold a march at 11 AM. It's happening at the corner of 26th and Elizabeth Veteran Memorial Wall. I spoke to one of the MCs for the program, Ray Brown. He says the ceremony will include an in-depth conversation about the Constitution. That should be very interesting to say the least. There are so many different events to choose from, but the idea behind celebrating Dr. King remains the same. Get out and serve. It's not just another day off from work. The organizations I spoke to say this is a chance to pay homage to a great man with a great vision. Always watching out for you, Renee Skinner, News 5.